Hello, everyone, and welcome to another interview here on the Cycling Dane channel. And today I'm joined by Joao Almeida again. First time since we've spoken since you joined UA Team Emirates. And I mean, uh, obrigado, Joao, and uh, how are you? How's 2024 treating you? Yeah, hello, everyone. Yeah, it's been, uh, it's been nice. Uh, yeah, I had the rush start of the season. I was sick before Algarve, so my preparation was not ideal. So yeah, I laid my start to the party nice now, and yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to start racing and see how I am. I mean, that was a bit annoying considering it is in Portugal and you are in Portugal, so that would have been quite convenient. Uh, yeah, it's, I mean, uh, it's the home race, Algarve, and also the the race before Figueira. It would be nice to race home, you know, it's... Uh, different feeling and also start the season. It, Algarve is not such a big race, you know. It's nice to see how, how the level is, a hard race, good training. Uh, but yeah, uh, I'm studying in Paris, so it is what it is. I mean, since you moved to... I was going to ask you this at some point, but now I'm not put it like structurally right. The Portuguese fans, because I've they're very passionate on the side of the road, and obviously you're Portuguese. So... How has that been from you? Because you've kind of elevated, you've gone higher up in the sport now, and we'll touch on the Giro, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But yeah, the Portuguese fans, how are they like as a Portuguese star? How do how is it? I mean, they're pretty good, uh, pretty rough sometimes, but the support is pretty amazing. Uh, in Portugal, it's just just crazy. You know, I've, I've done Algarve twice. And it, it's crazy how much support they, they give us to us Portuguese riders, <clears throat> especially also in the other races in uh, Italy, France, whatever it is. But yeah, uh, they are pretty rough sometimes as well. But yeah, just part of the game. <laughs> but I mean, Giro d'Italia, we're not going to start with last year. We're going to start with 2022 because there you were in a very good position uh, late on. And yeah, you were so close to the podium and yeah, Schmomid happened, uh, the, <laughs> the annoying disease. But, um, yeah, what, what was that Jira like for you as a whole? It was your first, first Jira with your new team as well. Yeah, exactly. You know, uh, new team, new coach, uh, everything is new. So it was. Without the COVID, I think until the COVID was pretty good. Uh, of course, not perfect, but I think sometimes it's normal. But also the other races I did, they were pretty good. So that's a good thing about the the new cycling. You know, you don't really, really focus on just one race. Basically, you, you need to be flying from January to October. So yeah, there's a lot of races. Of course, the main goal, it's 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 tough to to be out of the game because of a disease or something. <laughs> but yeah, could be worse. And uh, yeah, but overall, uh, I was happy. Did you take a lot of confidence from that ride as well? Uh, obviously, you've done, you d- did well the year before and the year before as well. But yeah, was it kind of, you felt like you leveled up in some way? Uh, more or less. I think in some ways, yeah. But also in some ways, I wasn't uh, maybe as good as before. But uh uh, I took maybe some extra confidence uh, on my bad days. There was a few really bad days I had on that year, and I still could survive. So I took the confidence from those days. Like if I was that bad and I could survive, so yeah. Once yeah. I have a good, I think I I, I could do something. But uh, but yeah, yeah, it is what it is. That way, fast forward to last year. I mean, the year is high once again, and this time you finish on the podium. Uh, first Portuguese rider since 1979. And uh, I mean, how was that whole Giro for you and specifically stage 16 as well when you just, you attacked at the right moment? Yeah, so last year Giro was pretty special. Was uh was slightly different, I would say. Oh, the weather is always quite bad, but it was horrible. Uh, uh, for the first real time, I think I got sick. And uh, to be on an antibiotics, like almost the whole peloton, I would say. Uh, so yeah, 
guys crashing, you know, guys DNF. So was was a rough Giro. I think the there was not such a big show as before because we were quite limited. But yeah, I got my goal achieved, the podium. So I was pretty happy, but but yeah, it's not all about that. So I want to keep going, level up if I can and see what else I can do. That attack you did on stage 16, that almost cost Roglic his entire Giro. So that was... Yeah, I was that day I was really good. I was feeling great. And uh, yeah, when I have really good days, I know I can, can smash it. So yeah, just before the last climb, I just put in my hand like, today is my day. So I just gave everything ahead. Uh, I was spending a lot of energy which in the end I almost lost to to G, but uh, but it was really strong as well. So it was uh, I think we did a uh, good pulls in the end with the stage. We tried to to gain some time to to Primos. So yeah, in the end I was just a little bit more explosive, but I finally got my stage win. So yeah, it was is a good day. I, I will always remember. And well, you were saying that you kind of. You don't want to stop here. Is it like your mindset now? You want to try and win the Giro. Obviously, you're not going to the Giro this year, but is that a race that you feel like you could win in the future? I mean, I don't know, but I feel like I still I can be stronger than what I was last season. So I feel like I can be better than that. Uh, if that means more wins or winning races, I don't know, but I think we will find out. <laughs> It's, uh, yeah, the new cycling is quite tough. It's been always tough, but everybody's really strong. So it's hard to do a difference, I would say. I mean, Jumbo Visma, they won every single Grand Tour uh, last year. But I mean, you guys won the UCI ranking yourself in top 10 as well. So how do you kind of beat Jumbo Visma in terms of a Grand Tour? Is that why kind of your Tour de France squad is you, Juan Ayuso, and uh, Tarif Gacha. Yeah, I think so. You know, the team, yeah, the last two two editions we were second, which is a great result. But uh, we want to win it, so that's why we're bringing such a good team. And, uh, yeah, of course, we're going to go all in for it and uh, with a strong team. I mean, me, Ayuso, Tadei, Adam, you know, it's... Yeah, Adam as well. Pretty crazy. But yeah, we need to beat the strongest guy so far uh, that could beat Tadei. Of course, if you check, it wasn't really even. You know, Tadei was, he had the crash, he broke the the hand and everything. So his preparation was not great at all. So I think in normal conditions, I think Tadei should be the strongest one. But, you know, the other guys also evolve and get better. So yeah, I think... Yeah, we need the, as much as we can. Need to do as much as we can to bring the victory. What's the well? Obviously, you're not going to tell me the game plan in te- in case uh, you want to spend was watching. But uh, <clears throat> is it just you're going to break, isolate him, and then attack him? Kind of what Yombo Visma did to Tade back in 2022. I mean, I don't really know, but. <laughs> It's one option, you know. There's so many options at the table, but it's not that easy, I would say. If you put uh, Seb Kuz pulling, and uh, how, how many guys can keep the wheel for 20 minutes, you know? I don't think we, you know, five UA guys on the wheel with Vingard looks too good to be true, you know? So it's not that easy, but yeah. I mean, as the strongest we are, the easiest should be to to take it as a team to support whoever is the strongest. Normally, today, to support him to, yeah, to do what he wants. You know, but I don't really know the plan. No idea. I mean, it's well that Tour de France is also well special for you because it's your first first tour. So that that has to be a special moment for anybody. Yeah. Looking forward to to race the tour finally. It's been a lot of duros and Vueltas. So yeah, finally to to finally do the tour. Very happy to finally do the tour. 
and yeah, let's let's do it. I mean, have you looked at the Tour de France route in terms of like the alternative finish now, finishing in the East? Obviously, you've done Paris and East before, and then also like the gravel stage as well. I mean, I have not l- looked too much into it, uh, but I kind of like the finish in Nice. I never did the the finish in the the Champ Elysees, but I, it sounds good finish in Nice, you know, with the time chill and everything. So, uh, yeah, I kind of like it to be honest. People say that the the Champ Elysees stage is the hardest one, so <laughs> uh, the couple. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it's a nice change though, having a time trial to the tour, so it goes back to like great. Yeah, it era. all comes to the Olympics, so yeah, exactly. So I think it's pretty nice, also. I mean, is the Olympics something you're looking towards as well? Uh, not really. Uh, I don't think the the parkour is the ideal for me, and also I have so many races as well. I want to do Tour Volta, so I don't think the Olympics are yeah, in the best date possible for me. I cannot do everything, so <laughs> if I go, which would be really nice to go, you know, it's the Olympics, it's, I would go very happy, but I, I don't feel like I could prepare it 100% as well. So I already t- give the opportunity to other guy that can maybe do better than me and prepare it, so yeah, I don't really need to do it i mean you were touching on it earlier that we're kind of it's a new era of cycling like you kind of have to be peak every single race almost from february to october how do you kind of manage yourself because your season would have started now and then finishing in the welter so that that's that's a huge season yeah that means a lot of rest (laughs) not overdue because if you overdo once then you always go down like a snowball so i need to manage a lot the fatigue and just yeah, the recovery everything otherwise yeah it will be a long season <laughs> i mean that well to espana that's got to be some special grand tour for you starting in portugal yeah that's one of the reasons i'm doing it i think otherwise i, I would rather rest off the tour and just uh yeah, plan and other races, but because starts in Vuelta, also the team wants me to do it. So it's pretty special to have a Grand Tour starting in your country. So it's pretty unique. I think I will take the chance, even if it's not the best preparation. You know, it's it's gonna be a nice race. So I mean, last time we spoke, you were saying how you were looking forward to like learning a lot from the riders you were part of because you were coming from Quick Step, where it was normally well Remco and then a classic sprinter team but now you're like truly in a GC team as a kind of have you developed a lot as a rider as well just being around a Yuzo, Tade Bogaccia etc etc yeah of course uh, I think uh, I might have learned more with Quickstep because I was I was new I was uh, I had everything to learn still so of course I had my bases there, but moving here I learned a lot as well. Uh, of course, with the riders and the the stuff we have, the nutritioning, uh, training, everything you know, know. So yeah, I think yeah it's been really nice. Also, with Ayuso today, you know they are also still pretty young, especially Ayuso, and we can always learn. I can learn with them and they can learn with me. So yeah, it's a, it's a pleasure to, to share the team with these guys, these young guns. <laughs> it's, uh, they're pretty strong. So, and more guys still, not just these two, but the whole team is really nice, strong guys, nice people. So it's an honor to, to make part of it. Yeah. Uh, Joao, in terms of, um, this year you're also doing Amstel Flesh Liège I mean you're quite uh, what would you say experienced now at doing Grand Tours how does that riding differ in terms of like a one day setting towards like a Grand Tour setting I mean I think nowadays if you 
prepare yourself and you're good, you can be strong at everything you do. I mean, of course, if you talk about Grand Tours, it's different, you know. It's not just being strong and good rider. But uh, I think as a Grand Tour rider, if you prepare yourself and you're strong, sure you can do the classics and be in a good level. So yeah. the classics are also pretty pretty hard. So I think it's also good preparation for Grand Tour. You know, you, you do big days. So yeah, I think it's it's also pretty good. And I also want to to change a little bit, do something different, not always the same races and the same type. Uh, yeah, trying to be a, a little bit more volatile. But yeah, I like my program. It's looking very good. Uh, I just wish, I just hope I have the legs. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, Portugal, it must be a great place to train as well. You, it's like we see so many riders moving to Spain or moving to Monaco or Switzerland for many of the Danish riders now, but Portugal seems, yeah. Good terrain as well. Yeah, I think it's pretty similar to Spain, I would say. Uh, but yeah, I, I I spend most of my winter there in Portugal. Uh, the weather is normally is pretty good, even if it rains, it's not super cold, so it's it's okay for training. Yeah, but once the the year starts and the season starts, I'm always in Andorra, which is where I live the rest of the year. We end up big mountains here to climb, so. Yeah. Then once the weather starts to be better, Andorra is it's a really good place to train. You have the valley, you know, belly up traffic as well. I really like it here. I feel like it's almost like Portugal, you know, a lot of Portuguese people as well. So yeah, I like it here. A lot of cyclists as well, you know, guys I know. So it's good to to have a second home, I would say. <laughs> yeah, not too far from Portugal as well. Yeah, it's not too far, not too close, not too far, which is good. So, what, like, what would be your main goal finishing up in terms of 2024? Obviously, doing well at the Welter if the legs are there. But uh, in terms of a Tour de France goal, is it my goal is a second, and it's just about getting Tade in the yellow jersey? I mean, I'm, I, I'll go with the team goals, you know. I just want to arrive there with good legs, you know, good preparation, feeling good, feel, feeling healthy, and ju- then just to my, the best I can do, you know. Always uh, go into the team, the team plan, the team goal. Uh, yeah, in my opinion, for sure, I think that I should be the strongest rider. So I don't think there will be any thoughts about what to do. Of course, we can play the the team game, you know, playing different tactics. But I think in the end of the day, the strongest guy always wins. So we can play a little bit, but I, I, I will be very happy to support him in the hardest climbs and be there as one of the last guys. So yeah, but we will see, just see how it goes. You know, if you do the homework, you don't need to stress about anything. I mean, that team literally is like someone's playing pro cycling manager and just put all the superstars in the same team. <laughs> but um, yeah, thanks very much for your time, uh, Joao, as always. And uh, best of luck with the 2024 season. Thank you.